I'm getting all packed up today, getting ready to leave tomorrow. This has been my home for the last 10 days. It's been peaceful and relaxing and really hate to leave, but I have to move on. But I do plan to be back here in the fall, hopefully spend part of the winter here. been a wonderful place to stay. So what is it with you two? Is the world just too much to handle today? You know? Silly babies. Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey, I have not been on in a while and the reason for that is I have done absolutely nothing in this past week. Nothing. I haven't even left the scamp. Well, I am in New Mexico, so I have done something. I've traveled to New Mexico. I had to come here last Friday. I was trying to avoid windstorms and rain and everything that could really hamper me <laughs> while I was driving. So um, I just came here and hunkered down, and I have been stuck in the scamp for four days now. Uh, the windstorms have been really, really bad. Uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds with 60 mile an hour wind gusts. So here I am. And uh, I've been reading pretty much nonstop for a couple weeks now, actually. Um, other than that, nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. I'll tell you what, my niece reminded me that we have Kindle Library. Uh, there's about four of us women in the family that share a Kindle account on Amazon. And uh, we've been putting books in it for years, and we used to get free books from Amazon, too. So there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books in there. Well, my Kindles all went out before I ever hit the road. So I just never got another one, and I don't think I will, because they seem to not hold their charge after a while. But, uh, yeah, they have Kindle apps now. So I put the Kindle app on and um, went into our library, and I was like, oh, my God. I could be reading these books forever. There are so many books. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And, uh, you know, normally, I know y'all want to know what I read, so we'll talk about that. Because basically I'm going to talk about mundane things. There's nothing else to talk about because I haven't done anything. So, you know, that's the way it is. But um, y'all want to know what I'm reading is I'm in a kind of an alternate universe mood. I like the kind of uh, place where the world is what it is, but there's actually another layer of another world in there. So it's like werewolves and zombies and not so much zombies. Um, uh, wizards and things like that. I like that stuff. But um, so I've been reading that and we got tons and tons of books like that. And I was here. I I went in last night to look because I haven't read Jim Butcher in a long time. I'd only re read like five or six of his books and found out that there's 17 books of Jim Butcher in our library. And I was so excited. I go, 17 books. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so exciting. So I got that to look forward to. Right now I'm reading um, Patricia Briggs, which is uh, she has a books, a series Mercedes Thompson, she's a little, uh, 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 and, uh, um, excuse me, I'm stuttering here. She is a uh, Native American, part Native American, and she can turn into a, a coyote. So we got that whole thing going, and I'm reading that right now. They're just fun to read. They're fun to read. You know, normally I like the thriller mystery with detective things, but these are good too. So that is what I'm reading. Um, and I've got a lot of books to read, apparently. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Not as nice as holding a book in my hand, but um, yeah, I can't, I can't have 17 
you didn't put your bugs in here. <laughs> they just wouldn't fit. So this is really nice. Okay, so what else have I been doing? Because I have just had my face stuck in a book for two or three weeks now, and pretty much um, these last five days, four or five days, with the windstorm going on outside, um, I get up in the morning, stick my face in a book and it really stays in there most of the day because there's nothing else to do in here. I kept remembering, oh, this is why I like being in a scamp. Because when I got stuck inside in my van, I could only sit on the bed. I couldn't get up and walk around. You know, it was like I was just stuck in this space. I really miss my van in a lot of ways because it was real cozy. But I like being able to go over and sit on the sofa and read and get up and cook and stand up and, you know, it, you know, just having a uh, living room, dining room and a bedroom separate was just really nice. It's, it's just really nice. Um, but, uh, where was I? I forgot what I was talking about. Okay. I like completely lose track of what I was talking about there, but because I am stuck inside, pretty much can't do anything because of the winds and the rain and the cold. Um, I, I try to do one productive thing a day. So the first day I was in, I um, opened up all my cabinets. I had my clothes up here. I took most of the winter clothes out. Not all of them, as you see, it's cold again and I have to wear some of them. I took them out and exchanged them for summer clothes. So that was nice. And my cabinets aren't quite as stuffed anymore because the winter clothes are gone. So that's one thing I did one day. And then the next day I came in and cleaned the upper cabinets here in my kitchen dining room. And uh, surprisingly didn't get rid of too much. Uh, just kind of moved things around, reorganized. I surprisingly... I kept most of what was up there. I still need to do, and maybe today I'll do this, the large bottom cabinet down here. So yeah, I try to do something productive where I feel like I don't waste my whole day. But you know, I thought, well, you know, if I was back in a house, what would I be doing all day in the winter when I couldn't go outside? Pretty much what I'm doing now. <laughs> Reading and trying to do one thing a day, cleaning up or something. So not much difference. Okay, so I made a list because I didn't know what to talk about. I haven't done anything. So we talked about the cabinets, we talked about the clothes, <laughs> talked about the Kindle. Um, somebody mentioned in the comments, do I still have a park pass? Yes, I still have a New Mexico State park pass. It lasts till the end of June. I have been told by a couple of camp hosts uh, to get another one because they supposedly will honor it next year. As long as I do this before July 1st, when they get rid of the passes and raise the rates, if I have a par pass, they still have to honor it. So they say. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. From what I understand, from what I read online, there's been a hold put on all of this. They've had a lot of people write in, complain, and I think some politicians even might have got involved. So that could screw everything up for them. <laughs> I don't know. But um, so they've kind of put a hold on the whole thing. But I was debating whether to get another uh, New Mexico State Park pass because I'm really going to kind of wean myself off the state parks. But now that I'm a resident and um, I'm an, a senior citizen, Instead of paying the two twenty five, they only cost me a hundred dollars now. So I thought, well, maybe I'll get one anyway. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to get away from the state parks here, um, and find other places. So I feel like I have options, you know. Okay, so that's that. Uh, camera. Somebody mentioned in the comments that um, why don't I put a camera on my plants outside? And I did last year, my friend bought me a camera and I think I saw a, a bunny in it one time and a kitty cat. But um, right now, the thing with the cameras, I always put it on my plants at night. And actually at this point, I am taking my plants and putting them in the van right now. 
so um, I don't really need the camera. <laughs> he sat down. But uh, when they did, oh, when they did get attacked this year by whatever, it was during the day when I had left the campground or left my campsite for like 30 minutes and that's when they did their munching so um I don't know I guess I could put the camera on it f during the day but I don't know I don't know um when I finally do keep them out at night again which will probably be my summer veggies not these spring ones when I do put them out at night again I will I'll put the camera back on them but yeah there's I try to guard my vegetables. Let's see. No, don't see anybody crawling around in there. Okay, I would I would go out there with a video camera, but the wind is bad, and you know, there's no sense in it. I'll, I'll try to put my vet my um. If I remember, I'll take a picture, and I'll put it in here of um, how the veggies are doing. Okay. Okay, so that is about it. I think I, I pretty much talked about everything there is to talk about. You know, seriously, I haven't been doing anything. And uh, there's nothing to say. But I know you guys wonder if I'm gone too long. You want and wonder what's uh, going on and everything. And so I thought I'd come on here and try to do a video <laughs> to let you know. Hopefully things will warm up and I can get back out and about, but I can't even video where I am because it's just too windy outside to go out there. I'm leaving here tomorrow. Did I say that before? I don't know. And I'm going to another spot. And I will say I do miss, oh, at the beginning of this video, you saw, oh, you saw the BLM land um, I stayed at. And I know you all wanted to see more of it, but I can't show it to you. And um, I thought about it, but I'm not going to. It's one thing, I'm going to go back there next year. I'll probably spend a, a couple months over there. So it's one thing to say I'm going in this general area when I'm staying at state parks where there's a lot of people and there's camp hosts or, you know, when I'm up in the mountains, you know, the general area, I generally stay up there. It's one say, thing to say that. Um, but when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, there's nothing around me and no people around me and I'm literally off road, I don't want people to come and find me. <laughs> I don't want I don't know want you people to know where I am, okay? I mean it's it's weird, but it's dangerous. It really is. So I pretty much did some video and I thought it best not to show it because there were landmarks there. I know Maddie Van Halen, I was just watching his video yesterday. And he was talking about that. And I'd already decided not to, to um, show a few things about that land I was at. Um, and he was talking about it because he's got a bigger channel than I am. And I guess people really, they get a little scary, you know. And I haven't had that happen yet. Now, everybody I've met at the parks or anywhere, I, I met a lady in Walmart that came up to me and she... <laughs> she recognized she should watch my channel. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> that's so cool. Um, everything's been really nice. And um, yeah, I, I think it's best we just, because I want to go there next year and spend a lot of time. And uh, it is in the middle of nowhere. I think it's best that um, I don't talk about it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was, it was just, it was heaven on earth. <laughs> it really was. Um, like I said, when you're in a state parks or just, I never tell anybody when I'm at a place, but you get a general idea in the summertime where I am. I'm with tons of people, you know, they're within, you know, several feet of me. And uh, yeah, so it's not quite as scary as when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, off some road somewhere. Okay, so that was what I showed you it was absolutely beautiful. I love the place. I hope it's like that next year when I get there. I actually talked to a fellow that was there. He had been there since December, and the other four or five trailers that were there had been there also most of the winter. And they said, when I was there, was with most they saw people there, because it wasn't exactly BLM land. I didn't tell you that. I thought it was where I was headed, but apparently I, 
I turned off way before I was supposed to because I saw some trailers and I was in a whole different area. And that's why I don't want to tell anybody where it is because it's, it's kind of quiet there. He, they said it doesn't get real crowded or anything. So we want to keep that secret. Um, okay, I th I've said all I can. I'm sorry. There's just nothing to talk about. I really, there's just nothing to talk about. So hopefully I will be able to um, do some things once the weather calms down a bit. Well, I'm just going to let you go. Um, I hope you all are doing well, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.